In this video, we're going to take a look at side chains and how you can use them in your audio processing. Compressors and gates are controlled by a detector, and the detector is normally fed signal from the channel in which the compressor or gate is getting signal from. For example, this Mio comp is inserted in my DAW1 channel in the mixer. So the detector, as it's set to channel, will be controlled by DAW1. I have another option, which is to set this to sidechain input. This will allow me to route audio from another input strip into the detector input. To do that, I go to my sidechain source, and I'm going to select my mic input, and now you can see that the detector has input level, and since it's going over the threshold, which is at minus 30, there is gain reduction being applied. By setting the threshold to minus 30 and turning the ratio up to 1000 to 1, I'm essentially making a ducker. What this is going to do is anytime I talk, this Mio comp is automatically going to turn down the audio on DAW1. When I finish talking, the audio will fade back up in 500 milliseconds, which is my release time. So let me roll some audio and you can hear this work. And here is the ducking effect. So as long as I'm talking, the audio playback on DAW1 is being lowered. When I stop talking, it will fade back up. Duckers are very handy for talkback in a studio environment. Let's say, for example, that you have a bus feeding a headphone amplifier for your musicians. Put a ducker on the bus set the detector source to be side chain input and make the source be your talkback mic. Now, every time you talk, the level of the mix on that bus will be turned down and the musicians will be able to hear you over the music. There are other ways that you can use side chains. I'm going to show you a couple of creative ones. Here's a graph that I've created that recreates an old school hip hop effect of using a tone generator to beef up a kick drum. The kick drum signal comes in on the input here and goes into the side chain of a Mio strip. The input to the Mio strip is my tone generator that's running at 50 hertz. The gate section of the Mio strip is being controlled by the side chain input. So you will only hear the oscillator, which is routed to the input, when the kick drum signal breaks the threshold on the side chain input. I've also taken the kick drum input and run it into an AB switch so that I can toggle back and forth between a mix of the oscillator and the original kick drum or just the oscillator so you can hear what that effect is on its own. And then those are being mixed together in a summer and output. So I'm going to start with this completely bypassed, then you'll hear the kick drum with the oscillator, and then I'll toggle just the oscillator alone. You can hear there's a lot more thump in the bottom end. And that's just the oscillator. You can also do things like go into the EQ section and kind of tune what's happening with the oscillator tone. Now I'm adding kind of a higher tone as well. And there it's just thump. So again, this is kind of an old production trick of using a tone generator to beef up a kick drum. And I'm going to show you another kind of processor based on this which is going to augment a snare drum basically the same setup except now I'm using a noise generator which is just putting out white noise and that's going into a Mio strip that's being gated and controlled from the sidechain input which is 
my input to the graph, which will be my snare. And I've done the same thing with an AB switch so that you can hear the effect on its own. So I'm going to do the same thing, play the snare, then bring in the generator, and then I'll turn off the snare sound so you can just hear what the generator is doing. Now I can use the attack and release of the gate to change how much of the snare replacement noise is coming through. As well as toggling the EQ in and out to be able to shape the noise itself. I can turn these sections off and just turn up this high frequency shelf to make it a little sizzly and then add the snare back in. Or you could use this for electronic music as a, a snare replacer, uh, as a sound effect. Whatever you need to do, plus DSP and version 5 mixer will let you do it.